I don't know if it's uh, anybody else, but whenever I think of Rock City, I go back to my elementary days in the song. We built this city on rock and roll. No? You don't feel that way? Sometimes we do things kind of spur of the moment, and this is one of those. Which are the best. Which we had seen all kinds of signs for Rock City, and we thought, well, we'll go up there and check it out. Uh, we didn't know that it was kind of like a, a, a park where you paid admission to get into. We thought we'd come up here and see the nice views and things, but this is so far, I think, going to work out great. Okay. So what are we doing? Homeschool. Okay. We're learning. Wow. We're learning. There's little um, labels beneath really cool trees, like a red maple, a black gum, a what was hemlock. The other one? Hemlock. Anyway, so we're learning about trees. So today we are doing science for homeschool. Isn't that fun? And isn't this the great part about homeschooling? Yes. Total freedom. Total freedom. Is that we can get out and do these things, but yet give our children an education. And so what I've learned too is like the days that we stay in the fifth wheel in homeschool, I'll actually blow through a few days of it because um, the kids are doing really great. And then that way, if we need to take it two or three days off and do things like this, I still feel like they're getting an education, but we're not behind at all in our actual book work. Oh, that's awesome. We just what? got lunch. We just got an animal. And now we just went back in the... In the really? Yeah, it went back in the pool. Look how narrow that is. You know what is. that's called? What? The needle's eye. Let's do it. Mom, you think you're too big. You think I'm too big? He thinks I'm too big. <laughs> I can do it, Jason. Okay, praise be. Ooh, this thing is narrow. I don't like it. <laughs> what's your hurry, Mom? Lane goes, what's, what's up with all the little men? So there's little gnomes. Scattered out throughout this little area. There's a little train down there with a gnome on it. Why gnomes, you ask? So we are stopping to write in our nature journals, which is what we usually take on hikes and stuff. Um, but Grady said, hey, can we pull out our journals because there's little gnomes Go around here. Gnomes. So whenever a child is inspired, you just stop what you're doing and let them roll with that. Whether it's gnomes or a mountain or a piece of candy or whatever. I'm just trying really hard to let them be them. And whatever, whatever inspires them, whatever interests them, we're just rolling with that and running with that. And so we're just stopped here in Rock City writing pictures about gnomes. So Grady, what are you drawing? <laughs> I'm drawing. If you go, if you come over here, you can see there's an airplane and a cave with a train and a rock tunnel and a, some trees and an airplane. Yep. Yeah, I'm drawing that. Cool. Sissy, what about you? What are you drawing? Um, the same thing. Same thing? Yeah, the airplane and the gnome inside the airplane? Yeah. Cool. And Chasen drew a rock. Chasen, did you draw a rock? No. No? I drew a choo-choo train. A choo-choo train? Right. Yeah. yeah. So I almost made the mistake of, well, I did actually make the mistake of saying, well, let's just keep going. There's actually a much more prettier spot. Thank goodness Lane said, no, their creative juices are flowing now. Let's let them draw. So we did. And I've got a, I'm learning this because this is all new, this homeschooling, us letting our children learn from what we see and the experiences that we have. But it's important to just let your children, when those juices are flowing, to let it flow. And don't try to stifle it or don't try to delay it. Because when you don't know when that may spark in them again. So when they say, hey, I, can we do this? Or we, you know, we want to draw something or create something. Let them do that because you never know what imagination, what dreams, what goals, aspirations could be born from that. We're enjoying this. This is so nice to be able to go at our own pace, do things how we see as a family is right for our children, and to let them experience things that they normally wouldn't get to experience sitting inside a classroom. At this moment, right now, I am enjoying this homeschooling life. I think it is exactly what God has placed before us to do 
and how to raise our children. He learned how to jump with two feet. He's about to jump his pants off. <laughs> come here, Mama, help you. I'll pull your pants up and get your hair out of your eyes. And come here, come here, come here. Whoa. You want to walk, no, Jason? Yeah, let me, let me, let's walk. That way I don't drop you. Okay, follow mommy. I'll hold your hand, okay? I'm not going to carry you because this thing is moving too much for me to carry you. Seriously, this thing is swing, <laughs> swinging. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm <laughs> okay. It's all right, bud. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If I'm keeping you safe, it'll make me not have a heart attack because I have to be. I'm so worried. I'm so concerned about the bridge. I didn't look over here. Okay, this thing seriously. Feel like I've had one too many angry elves. Yeah. So while you're up here, see seven states. So we got Tennessee, half a mile to the left, Kentucky, Virginia, 120 miles, which Mount Pinnacle, I'm not sure where that is, quite honestly. North Carolina, you got 50, 50 miles to the Smoky Mountains. South Carolina, 80 miles. Georgia, which is actually just right here. And it says Alabama, 25 miles that way. So seven states from one spot. We didn't bring any money with us, no quarters, no nothing. So the kids are just absolutely dying trying to look through there and see something. And we've told them a hundred times, it's a black. Can't see nothing. But yet Layla insists that she can see through it. You see something? What do you see? She sees her reflection. Yeah, I see tails now. Yeah, I see now. The Batman squeeze. Oh, babe, I don't know that. You're going to die, Mom. Gabriel, and you are going to die. No. She's telling us we're going to die. No, they're not. I just get claustrophobic. It's, it's not dangerous. Mom, in the dark. I just don't see the light at the end. So. This is scary. We're going in the dark. Okay. This is seriously. Can you guys keep me safe? I don't know if you no. can read oh, what that says goodness. up there. It says Fat Man Squeeze. And let me tell you, if you're a fat man, you wouldn't be able to go down here. <laughs> or a pregnant woman. Or a pregnant woman. I'm or even I'm, just a muscly person, baby. So I'm trying to carry Chase. Oh, don't make that sound. Sorry, Chase, and I'm gonna have to put you down, Bubba, because I can't walk through this with you. Okay. Hey. Well, now this is awesome. It's like a bat's cave. I'm afraid to live right now. One of those little guys. There's one right there trying to kill us. Can you handle it? The little This is so oh, I cool. Can't breathe. It is really neat. And we have really taken our time. Oh yeah, we've been here for hours. Yeah, it feels like we've been here for hours. We've really? taken our time a lot though, but I mean, there's just so much to see and That's walk my biggest, around and check out. That'd be my biggest advice, is don't rush through it. Don't rush through it. Take your time. Yeah, take your time. Look at that. Please. Look guys. I love how those pretty vines are. Oh here. yeah. It makes me feel like there should be an Italian restaurant under here. I was going to say, it's almost it's like, like you're in a different country. Yeah. Like, I don't know, back in Rome or something. It needs an <laughs> Italian restaurant with a daycare.
Lover's Leap. The legend has it that two Indian lovers from different tribes fell in love, but their tribes did not like it, and a war party followed after one of the, the Indian boy, which is named Sati, and they threw him from the top of this. Of course, it's a legend. And while they did that, they weren't paying attention to the girl, which I'm assuming is pronounced Nakuchi. And, they, and she jumped following her no, lover to me. You wouldn't do that? No. You wouldn't follow me? No. If we didn't have kids, would you follow me? No. no. <laughs> I love you, but I, no. Well, not, not, not enough, apparently, <laughs> compared to this, these two Indian lovers. <laughs> I was going to say, look at the romantic lights, and you came around the corner moaning. Oh. <laughs> Is this the gnome's home? It is. Anybody home? Gnome's home. Hello. Get it? Gnome's home? Hello. So I'm not a big fan of gnomes. Aren't they just like little midget wizards or something? Uh, I don't know what the history is with gnomes, but... Are gnomes real? No. Yes, they are. Look at them. Oh my goodness, that one <laughs> on the back just moved. That one right there just blinked. Run for your life! <laughs> Oh, don't hit. Don't Grady, you tell her you're sorry. I for didn't scaring, do anything. You scared her. Sorry, Layla. Layla, you say you're sorry for hitting. Uh, Chase says sorry. Come on, Jason. That's pretty. So that was totally wow. unexpected. That was the coolest thing ever. Like, I think gnomes are the cutest thing now. So in that fairyland, so I couldn't cute. hardly get any footage because it was so dark in there, but they had black lights lit up. It basically turned into a kid's storybook like, land. Yes. And Every, well, I was lost in it though. Like, it was awesome. They had little scenes throughout each little area that was kind of tucked back in these caves of different storybooks from children, like children's books. And it was just... It was it, literally, cool. you just walk into another land, and it's so awesome. <laughs> and you've got to go. <laughs> Fairyland, yes. Oh. It was awesome. You have to come to this. Again, pleasantly surprised by this whole experience at Rock City Gardens. We would definitely come back, see it again. We are also going to go to Ruby Falls today and check that out. Anyway, so now on to Ruby Falls. So here we are at Ruby Falls, we're in the parking lot. A little tip for you guys, if you have a big rig like mine or a motorhome that you're coming up here, this is on the side of a hill. And so parking is very limited. What I would suggest you do is pull right up. There should be a guy at the entrance, ask him where to park. Just ask somebody, if you don't know, just ask. Don't waste your time driving around trying to look for a spot because if you're in a big rig, you're gonna have a hard time finding one. Rock out there. Yeah, that's just one big rock, too. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we're going down 260 feet, 600 feet a minute, and it's practically the speed of light. <laughs> It'll be even faster if the brakes fail. <laughs> well, I'm not the guide today, but your guide's waiting outside, so uh, you guys have a good time. Right? Thank you. They don't need to thank me, I just push buttons. <laughs> we'll be back here first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Right below it looks like an eye, uh, 
I'm in here. Come on, Looks like a fish. <laughs> So the good thing about being in the back of the tour is you kind of get to take your time and don't have to worry about people behind you waiting. So now we're trying to get caught up with our group. Look out, Lane! Michael, don't do that. Look out! No, look. Say stuff. Oh. Well, I just thought I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> 60 feet into the side of Lookout Mountain. That's about two-fifths of a mile, y'all. Wow! <laughs> now we have also gone 1,120 feet under the mountain. That's about the same height as the Empire State Building. Wow! There you go. Y'all catch on fast. <laughs> Another waterfall we're going to go see is very tall. It is 145 feet tall and it falls into a five foot deep pool. Let's go see that waterfall. Ready? You haven't looked at it yet? That was one of the best days we've had on our trip. I agree. The best. So good. So what was awesome about it? Well, I loved the cave. And I don't usually like caves. But it was so amazing. You and could I not like crystal. it. But now I like the gnomes. I'm still not over the fairy lands. It was just a great day. Yeah. Like, it, it was okay to be a tourist today because it was good stuff. Yeah. And I'll say we did not expect. It's 6.30 now. We left yeah, it's good. maybe around 11. And we didn't expect we to be out this late. We thought we might be back by lunch. Yeah. But we had an all-day adventure. The and tour here at the pricey. cave was probably an hour or so. Yeah. But no, as Lane said, it wasn't too expensive. We spent about 80 bucks for our whole family to do both events. Well worth it. Well worth it. So we had a great time. So now we are headed back to the fifth wheel. We'll probably get some dinner and get set up or get ready for packing everything up and possibly heading out tomorrow. And... Possibly, Lane says, because we might not. We don't know. We're, we're still getting used to this life to where, Lane said earlier, we feel like used to, we'd have to rush, 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 see, see things, and then get on the road and go to see something else. Kind of like how you would in a vacation. But we're learning how to go slower. We take our time and settle down for a little bit, see what we want to see in the area on days we want to see them, and then if we're not ready to leave, don't feel rushed to leave. Just hang out another day or two. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna head home. If you guys like this video, please give us a what, Grady? Um, uh, some more crystal candy if you <laughs> came here. If you like this video, what are they supposed to do? Give us a thumbs. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the attic. The attic. <laughs> the comments below. And if you liked this video and want to watch more, make sure and. Uh, make sure Gable doesn't, you know what, in his diaper. <laughs> make sure and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.